Hello my soccer universe. I did it again. I did it again. There are certain Italian teams that I really love jerseys or to collect jerseys. Of course Milan. I'm a Milan fan as evidenced above. Of course I have tons of Milan shirts as a collector. Roma rarely produce bad jerseys and there has been a time I stopped myself as of late. But Roma always have great jerseys. Then barely ever produce bad ones so yeah I had to hold back and now it's Fiorentina and you know it started in 2017 with this one I bought it right at the Fiorentina store next to the Duomo and then it kind of snowballed over the last two years I really love this yellow jersey back there last season this V with the new logo really cool and then there was one jersey that was in the 23-24 season that I absolutely loved and then I saw it at the Fiorentina so already in the run up to the Conference League final. And I really would have loved Fiorentina to finally win a Conference League. It is incredible that they lost two finals and also a couple of uh, Italia final in, 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 in the process. When I would argue they were not the worst team in either of these finals. In any case, there was one jersey in there that I saw at the Fiorentina store. And this time I ordered from the Fiorentina store. The yellow one and the white one I ordered directly from Kappa. Um, you know, signed up, got my discount. I think shipping was also not too crazy. And then the jersey, which was hovering around 50, I went not for the player, which suddenly got discounted down to, I think, even 25. So I got it. Then I saw another jersey in there. Same price. Huh. Adds an interesting touch to my Fiorentina collection. My wife kind of encouraged me, yeah, take it. It's not to think it was 20 or something like that. And then of course, you know, now that I have scarves, I added a scarf as well, because ever since I got this scarf from Prague with the city skyline, I actually like these types of scarves. And this is where I want to start with the scarf. I really got a nice one here. Let's take it out. I already opened the parcel because I wanted to check this. And yes, uh, this is posting now in August. I think I ordered this one in late June when the season was over. Sorry, but you know, back then the Euros took over. So there you go. Here we have the scarf. You can already tell a little bit. There is a little bit of cityscape up there. And Florence is one of the most beautiful cities in all of Europe. So. Of course, <laughs> they have to take advantage of that. I'll show you and then we'll hang it up here in the back to make a Fiorentina background as well. It has the new Fiorentina logo, which is not that bad. And then the city of Florence. I mean, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? And you know, if you have such a city, you might as well display it. You're rightfully proud of that city. So really happy with that one this scarf will play a prominent role in Serie A review videos that much i can promise you tada what a beautiful scarf this immediately goes up the list in most beautiful scarves in my collection i would say top three should be top three any case let's take the jersey out that i initially wanted to get it is the pretty one maybe i should have done the other way around but let's do this one here you go it is of course the third jersey from last season what an absolute beauty and it is in a way as we will see another purple jersey not really but you know it is classic Fiorentina but nicely done for a third jersey so I'll open this up this will make a whole lot of noise so I'm gonna cut okay even though this is just the fan version you know the replica version which is cheap and I love that Kappa produces this as relatively reasonable prices it has a whole lot of paper in there this is just the last piece of paper but yeah let's look at this beauty here this is the looser fit this here is a combat version but I got it in triple XL so it kind of still feels all right this one here is as I said, the looser fit, but what a gorgeous shirt. I actually think that on these, even the collar looks better because it goes all the way around. It's not broken up. So yeah, I am not so sure how fond I am that there are noticeable differences between a replica and the player version. But you know, overall, we have the same color, we have the same pattern, and this is just an absolutely gorgeous shirt. Look at this flower pattern on there. And the color of this one is this dark purple and you have the purple here and the red. Uh, it's Florence slash Fiorentina colors all over. Absolutely love this one. I especially love the color 
where you have uh, both the club's colors and also the um, city colors in red on there. Now the crest here is of course stitched on. This one here is a rubberized one, so this is what Kappa is doing. But um, this one here is just like a vinyl that has been transferred over. And this one is just printed in here, this Kappa logo. So uh, those are noticeable differences. I don't mind. I mean, for me, it's mostly about the shirt. I got it blank on the back. I was thinking, should, should I get a Conference League logo or something like that? In the end, I decided to leave it blank, play to be different. And as always, I think we had it also on the white jersey jersey inside. On the inside, we have all these lilies where one is red. By the way, even though this is the looser fitting version, I still went for double XL because for Italian sizes, you always go one up. It's also what I did for this yellow shirt back there. And lastly, the Mediacom sponsor is also sublimated in. That's a feature that I actually, actually like was here. It's kind of a transfer. On the yellow one, it was also sublimated in. So, you know, uh, what I like about that, I know it may look a little bit cheaper in a way, but it's more durable. That's what I like about it. Let's take out the last one. I think you can potentially already guess which one it is. But if not, let's have a look. It is the fourth jersey. Of course, I need a kind of a red one. Yes, this is not red. It's a little bit more pinkish, but hey, it's it's a stunning shirt in a way. So here it is, pretty much the same things that I said about the third jersey, also applies to the fourth jersey. This is a stitched on crest, this is a transfer, everything else is sublimated in. Uh, the lilies here are all red, because red is the main color on this one. This one has been designed by art students. I guess that's why you get the swirly effect. Is it the prettiest red jersey that Fiorentina put out? Probably not. But it's um, one of the more striking ones. I actually was thinking when I had the one with the white cross on the front that I should go for that and never really pulled the trigger on that one. I think this would have, would have been interesting. But you know, this one has something that the others don't. As I said, swirly effect, you know, a little bit reflecting the marble, but also maybe the modern artsy scene in Florence. Whatever you would like, it was 20 bucks, it doesn't look bad. It adds to the Fiorentina collection, hence I got it. I'm standing off center, but hey, here's my entire Fiorentina collection so far. What's missing? Well, I guess it would be nice to complete the set here. They had a white one, they had a green one, they had a blue one. That would be nice, but you know. I'm very happy with what I have now because I think those are all classic Fiorentina colors. I have two purple jerseys, which I really like. The simple one here from uh, Le Coq Sportif. Then this one, the third jersey, which I think also could count as a home jersey because you see the purple shining through. I love Fiorentina jerseys in yellow. Of course, white is the classic away color and they have been moving for red, which makes a whole lot of sense because those are the city colors. So really happy with that one. This season, so uh, the Fiorentina jerseys are kind of on the line in between, you know, bland, but also really classy. Not have not really made my mind up yet. Also, it's of course the decision which of the Fiorentina jerseys are now in this picture should I use for my videos. I'm actually leaning, you know, for home games. Let's use this one. And for the away games, yeah, maybe I'm going for the red one here. Let's see. I'm also curious what third jersey there will be. I actually think the one color that is probably missing would be a black one because we have seen black Fiorentina shirts and sometimes they look also really, really nice. And maybe a plain red one, but no, I think I'm covered on the red side. Any case, let me know what you think about all these jerseys, especially the two that I got here. Add to it the magnificent scarf, absolute magnificent scarf. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.